In the hushed corners of our lives, secrets reside, hidden within the tangles of forgotten memories, obscured by the layers of accumulated possessions. These silent witnesses to our journeys lay dormant, waiting for the moment when light is shown upon them, when their stories are whispered into the receptive ears of those willing to listen. It's within the labyrinthine chambers of these untold stories that the concept of Swedish death cleaning weaves its enigmatic tapestry. Imagine this, an old worn chest tucked away in the attic, its edges kissed by time and weathered by years of disuse. One day, with a resolve ignited by curiosity, you dust off the cobwebs, gingerly lifting the lid and are enveloped by the scent of history, a fragrance composed of the forgotten dreams, sorrows, and laughter of generations past. Among the faded letters and sepia-toned photographs, you unearth a journal, its pages crinkling like autumn leaves under your touch. As your fingers trace the elegant cursive, you're swept away by the intimate thoughts of someone who once inhabited a world now lost to time. This scenario is more than a flight of imagination. It's the essence of Swedish death cleaning. In a world where clutter proliferates and possessions accumulate like the unspoken chapters of our lives, the Swedes offer a perspective that transcends the mundane chore of tidying. Far beyond the act of discarding the unnecessary, this practice beckons us to confront an unspoken truth that every object, every keepsake carries with it a piece of our narrative. The term Swedish death cleaning might sound morbid, but it is anything but. It encapsulates a poignant invitation to reevaluate the spaces we inhabit, the tangible fragments of our existence, and the essence of our relationships. This unique practice impels us to look at our lives through the lens of mortality, encouraging us to ponder the legacy we leave behind, both in terms of our cherished possessions and the memories etched into the hearts of those we hold dear. Margareta Magnusson, the vibrant mind behind this movement, guides us through a journey that is at once introspective and cathartic. Through the art of Swedish death cleaning, she suggests that letting go of material burdens can lead to a liberation of the soul, igniting a sense of freedom that transcends the physical realm. Join us as we embark on an exploration of Swedish death cleaning, a voyage that transcends mere organization and delves into the heart of human existence. In the pages that follow, we'll unveil the mysteries behind this practice, discover the transformative power it holds, and unravel the lessons it has to offer. From the art of curating our legacies to the profound wisdom of minimalism, Swedish death cleaning beckons us to embrace life with open arms, reminding us that within the act of tidying lies an extraordinary tale of remembrance, renewal, and the eternal dance between the past, present, and future. Section 1. The Mystery Behind Swedish Death Cleaning, Unveiling the Essence In the heart of a quaint Swedish village, where cobblestone streets wind through picturesque landscapes, a centuries-old tradition hides in plain sight. The concept of Swedish death cleaning, or dostadning, emerges as a captivating paradox, a celebration of life's transience amidst the beauty of the everyday. As we delve into the origins of this practice, a tapestry of history and culture unfolds, revealing a perspective that intertwines mortality and mindfulness. Unearthing the Origins, a cultural odyssey. Imagine wandering through the narrow alleys of Stockholm, where ochre-colored buildings create a vibrant mosaic against the sky. It's within these very streets that the roots of Swedish death cleaning trace their lineage. Born from a culture that values simplicity and connection to nature, this practice emerged as a testament to the Swedes' intimate relationship with life's impermanence. But what's in a name? Swedish death cleaning might sound curious, even somber, but its essence resonates with vitality. The term encapsulates the essence of decluttering, not as a chore to be undertaken in haste, but as a contemplative journey, a dance with objects and memories that have accompanied us on our passage through time, decluttering as a rite of passage. To understand Swedish death cleaning is to embrace a unique narrative. Picture a seasoned sailor preparing for a voyage, meticulously inspecting his vessel before embarking upon the open seas. In a similar vein, Swedish death cleaning prompts individuals to navigate the waters of their lives, acknowledging the inevitable destination that awaits us all. Margareta Magnusson, a Swedish artist and author, casts a guiding light on this practice. Her words resonate with a deep sense of wisdom as she likens the act of decluttering to writing the final chapter of one's life story. It's not about discarding the past, but cherishing the experiences that have shaped us, curating the chapters that future generations will read and find solace in. A dance between presence and absence. Swedish death cleaning at its core is an embrace of both presence and absence, a dance between the tangible and the intangible, 
The act of releasing belongings carries an unspoken eloquence, as if whispering to us that what we leave behind is far greater than what we take with us. As we sift through old photographs, faded letters, and heirlooms that have witnessed generations, a symphony of memories fills the air. Each item we touch is a vessel of remembrance, a tangible link to the past, and an opportunity to pass on the torch of shared experiences. Section 2. The Art of Curating Your Legacy. Crafting Stories from Possessions. In the heart of the bustling city, or amidst the tranquility of the countryside, we find ourselves entangled in the embrace of possessions, objects that mirror the journey we've embarked upon. Yet buried beneath the layers of clutter lies the art of curating a legacy, of orchestrating a symphony that narrates our existence to the world. Swedish death cleaning beckons us to become the maestros of this symphony, inviting us to discover the profound resonance of our possessions. Possessions as echoes of our narrative. Imagine stepping into an attic, the air imbued with a nostalgia that transcends time. Here, forgotten treasures rest in quiet repose, each bearing witness to the chapters of a life lived. This is where Swedish death cleaning's true magic awakens, the ability to see these possessions not as mere objects, but as echoes of stories, dreams, and the ebb and flow of human experience. In each threadbare quilt, the love and care woven by hands now stilled echo softly. In a worn-out pair of shoes, the footsteps of adventures and misadventures reverberate. Each item is a chapter, and in their collective resonance, they tell the tale of who we were, who we are, and the threads that connect generations. The act of letting go, a bittersweet ballet. In the realm of Swedish death cleaning, the act of letting go is a bittersweet ballet, an interplay of emotions that renders our relationship with possessions complex and beautiful. It's a dance between holding on to memories and embracing the liberation that comes with decluttering. As we sift through the drawers that harbor trinkets and the closets that conceal forgotten garments, we're confronted with the decision to release what no longer serves us. It's in this decision that we unlock the power to shape our legacy, to craft a narrative that distills the essence of our being. The weight of possessions and the freedom of release. The possessions we accumulate carry a weight that extends beyond their physical presence. The sense of responsibility, the maintenance, and the emotional ties can lead us to be tethered to the past, inhibiting our ability to fully embrace the present. Swedish death cleaning challenges this entanglement, encouraging us to evaluate the role each possession plays in our lives. Imagine the sensation of releasing a balloon into the sky, watching as it ascends toward the heavens. In a similar vein, letting go of possessions can evoke a profound sense of freedom, an unburdening of the soul that paves the way for new experiences and connections. By shedding what no longer resonates, we make space for growth, renewal, and the extraordinary potential that lies ahead. Curating a Legacy, an Act of Love and Compassion At its heart, Swedish death cleaning is an act of love and compassion, both for oneself and for those who will inherit our stories. As we curate our legacies, we are shaping the tapestry of memories that our loved ones will carry forward. It's a testament to the value of our experiences and the profound understanding that our stories are meant to be shared, cherished, and celebrated. In this practice, we discover that our legacy is not just about the material possessions we leave behind, but the intangible lessons, values, and sentiments that define our essence. By thoughtfully curating what we pass on, we offer a gift that transcends time, a legacy that continues to shape lives long after we've embarked on our final journey. Section 3. Lessons in Minimalism and Mindfulness Embracing the Essence of Being In a world often defined by excess and perpetual noise, the art of Swedish death cleaning emerges as a sanctuary, an oasis of minimalism and mindfulness that beckons us to shed the layers of distraction and rediscover the essence of our existence. As we delve into this realm, we find that the practice extends beyond mere tidying inviting us to embark on a transformative journey of self-discovery and renewed connection. Decluttering the mind through spaces. Imagine stepping into a room that's been transformed by decluttering, a room where every object radiates purpose and intention. The air feels lighter, and there's an unmistakable sense of tranquility that washes over you. This is the magic of Swedish death cleaning a practice that extends far beyond physical spaces and delves into the intricate landscapes of the mind. Just as we curate possessions, we can curate the thoughts and emotions that inhabit our mental space. Swedish death cleaning calls us to recognize that the weight of possessions is often mirrored by the clutter within our minds. 
By shedding the unnecessary, we create room for clarity, focus, and a renewed sense of presence, rediscovering the joy of the present. In the era of instant gratification, the practice of mindfulness offers a refreshing contrast, a return to the beauty of the present moment. Swedish death cleaning intertwines seamlessly with mindfulness, encouraging us to immerse ourselves fully in the act of decluttering. As we touch each possession, we're prompted to reflect on its significance, its role in our lives, and its resonance with our aspirations. Picture yourself holding an old book, the pages yellowed with time, the spine worn from countless readings. As you cradle it in your hands, you're transported back to moments when its words ignited your imagination. Through mindfulness, you're able to appreciate not just the book's physicality, but the emotions it evokes. This practice nurtures an awareness that transcends the material and delves into the intricate tapestry of sentiment. The Power of Letting Go, A Journey to Liberation Letting go is a multifaceted experience. It's a process of untethering ourselves from the past, relinquishing attachments, and embracing the unknown. Swedish death cleaning invites us to confront the emotional layers that surround possessions, guiding us to differentiate between what we truly need and what merely clutters our lives. Consider the sensation of releasing a balloon into the sky once more, but this time, imagine the profound liberation that washes over you as it floats away. Each possession we release becomes a conduit for freedom, a step towards living authentically and unencumbered. Mindful consumption, nurturing intentionality. The practice of Swedish death cleaning is not merely about eliminating what's no longer needed, it's about adopting a mindset of mindful consumption. By becoming attuned to our true desires and values, we begin to make deliberate choices that enrich our lives rather than burden them. Imagine walking into a shop and choosing an item with intentionality, knowing that it aligns with your values and brings genuine joy. This approach contrasts sharply with the impulse-driven acquisitions that often result in accumulated clutter. By embracing mindful consumption, we create a harmonious relationship between our possessions and our well-being. Section 4. Facing Mortality a path to liberation and transformation. In the dimly lit corners of our minds, the notion of mortality often lurks like a shadow, an unspoken truth that both intrigues and unnerves us. Swedish death cleaning, however, casts a luminous light upon this often taboo subject, inviting us to embrace our mortality as a catalyst for profound liberation and transformation. As we navigate this realm, we unearth the hidden treasures that emerge when we face the impermanence of life. Confronting the Inevitable, an unforgettable invitation. Mortality, like a guest who knocks unannounced, has a way of stirring a myriad of emotions within us. It can evoke anxiety, contemplation, and even a renewed zest for living. Swedish death cleaning acknowledges this universal truth and transforms it into an invitation, a reminder that life is a fleeting gift, urging us to make the most of our time and to leave behind a legacy that resonates. Imagine standing before a mirror, gazing into your own eyes and acknowledging the transient nature of existence. This act of self-confrontation, while initially unsettling, leads to an awakening, a realization that the clock is ticking and that every moment is a canvas upon which to paint the vibrant strokes of our existence. The liberation of priorities, a reckoning with authenticity. In the modern world, we often find ourselves ensnared by an intricate web of obligations, expectations, and societal norms. Swedish death cleaning emerges as a beacon, illuminating the path to liberation from these entanglements. When faced with the contemplation of mortality, we are compelled to sift through the layers of our lives, discerning what truly matters. Think about the metaphorical armor we wear, layers upon layers that have accumulated over time. Through the lens of mortality, these layers fall away, revealing the authentic self beneath. The practice of letting go becomes a declaration of freedom, allowing us to prioritize experiences over possessions, relationships over obligations, and authenticity over pretense. The Alchemy of Mortality and Transformation Swedish death cleaning weaves an alchemical tapestry where the base elements of mortality and possessions are transformed into the gold of transformation. The act of decluttering becomes a ritual of releasing what no longer serves us, allowing space for the blossoming of our true potential. Consider the caterpillar's transformation into a butterfly, an evolution that hinges on letting go of its former self. In a similar vein, embracing mortality catalyzes our own metamorphosis, a process that reshapes our perspectives, values, and aspirations. Through the lens of Swedish death cleaning, we're invited to embrace the cocoon of contemplation and emerge as beings of renewed purpose and insight. A profound dance with time, embracing the present. 
The inevitability of time's passage infuses our lives with a poignant urgency, an urgency to live fully, to connect deeply, and to savor each fleeting moment. Swedish death cleaning amplifies this urgency, reminding us that our time is a finite resource, deserving of intentional investment. Imagine standing before a sunset as the horizon is painted with hues of gold and pink. The fading light serves as a poignant metaphor, an eloquent reminder that beauty, like life, is ephemeral. By acknowledging this dance with time, we cultivate a deeper appreciation for the present moment and a heightened awareness of the treasures it holds. Conclusion Embracing Life Through Swedish Death Cleaning The journey through the realms of Swedish death cleaning has been one of revelation, introspection, and transformation. A voyage that transcends the mundane and invites us to dance with the profound currents of existence. From the origin of this intriguing practice to the profound lessons it imparts, we've explored the depths of our possessions, emotions, relationships, and the essence of mortality. As we conclude this odyssey, let us reflect on the tapestry we've woven—